Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. This is part 5 of my team career mode. We're in Belgium! Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. That's the word. So I hope we're ready to race. So, yep, yeah, we're going to do some upgrades, actually. Yes, we did some upgrades. Unfortunately, we need you to step in and make an executive decision here. Thanks for dealing with that. The departments appreciate it. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Our new parts have completed without issue. You'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Hey boss, I think we could better manage our time by organizing some team activities. Head yeah, to the activity to screen to see what we have available. <coughs> So this is part five, okay, guys? So we're going to try doing good in this quarter, but I'm not good at this track, but I am good, if you know what that means. But yeah.
Fantastic. You've got pole. Okay. So I got pull. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Joker, Perez, Very and mixed. Lewis Hamilton. Goodbye for now then, but we're but really just getting basically. started. Make sure That was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Looks like you had a great qualifying session. It must be a relief being that. You didn't practice much this weekend. Are you saving? Great. Well, that's everything. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. Let's go to the race, guys. Welcome along then to the Belgian Grand Prix, the race that gave us the maiden victory for the Jordan team in 1998. And in the same team, the phenomenal debut of a young Michael Schumacher. There's always something special around one of the many corners of this fan favorite circuit. Spa-Francorchamps then, a historic 19 corner circuit with a lap distance of 4.35 miles. There's over 100 meters of elevation change here and with long stretches of the lap spent flat out, a good top speed will be vital for success. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Joker lines up on pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Lando Norris, and Bottas, Leclerc, Gasly, Sainz, and Daniel Ricciardo, Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Vettel, and Stroll, Giovinazzi, Ocon, Kimi Raikkonen, and Mick Schumacher, Russell, Latifi, Eilert, and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. All right, let's go for race start. I guess it was a good qualifying from me, but there's gonna be five red lights in a sec. And it's five red lights and away we go. And Red Bull aren't a good start at races, are they? Seriously? Oh, restart the race then. Really? 
taken damage to the side pod. Oh my god. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. Can I actually complete the race this time? Here we go. Caution, the virtual safety car has just been deployed due to a buildup of debris on the track. Did he even get a warning or something for crashing into me? No. Oh shit. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. That is technically for Perez's fault. He hit me first. So I took my anger out on him. Okay, clear. The, the team's definitely fighting me, that's for sure, because look. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums.
Okay, watch the aggression, please. We don't want to lose places because of a penalty. No rain expected. No rain expected for the time being. Dries seem like the best tire for now. Yeah, fuck it. How's that for? He don't get no warnings, but I do. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Okay, some information on signs. They've got a serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring. There have been further incidents out on the track, so the officials are moving to a full safety car. Copy that. I just got run over a fucking Red Bull. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Complete, go now. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Sorry about that, guys. I am back. Hang on. You're way too far ahead. Oh my god.
Yeah, it turns out they haven't bothered cleaning this car up yet. So who has pit? Me, Lewis, Max. Okay, we're so basically, no one else has pitted. So we'll probably be able to get him during the pit lanes. Hopefully. The last place is not where we want to be. So our team match was doing so well at first. Let me just say. <coughs> no issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. No tie concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. Check your MFD for a fuck that. Vehicle condition. Tire condition is still looking good. Let's catch up to the field a bit. We're dropping too far back. Remember that we need to stay within 10 car lengths of the next car. But he deserves a five seven time penalty. You hit my car. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about tyre condition for now. Everything's looking good. Let's get ready to go race. Wait, so what did they get a warning? What time penalty for? It's a fair collision. <laughs> it wasn't even a fair collision, man. Racing again, the safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this, in this lap. lap. Driver behind. There's static over the radio. Say again. Hamilton behind, less than a second separate you. They're on fresh mediums. The car behind has minor front wing damage. Front wing damage, the time last lap was a 2 minute 48.1. That was hella unfair, but I don't care. No issues with tyre wear for now. Keep taking care of them.
a new strategy is available. Oh, fuck you, George. You know, that's technically all George's fault, but... They tried saying it's my vote, and then I say, no, no, it wasn't my vote, and then he blank checked me. And but they don't believe me. Well, she's actually really annoying. Get back to P1. We'll try to in the upcoming laps because, yes, it is required that we get back into the top 10 or even better, top 5. Vehicle condition? No tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. Vehicle condition? Tire condition is still looking good. Nice move. So I think we can get overtake. So. Well, yeah, the dry, yeah, they're getting held up by Mazapin. I thought his name. As we go to wheel to wheel with our teammate guys. So let's get back into top ten. The thing is, he's also so close to being in the top ten. Let's see if we can catch up again. DRS has been enabled. DRS is now enabled. So we're back in the t top 10, but I'm pretty sure most of the drivers in front of the pit again. Well, it's still in the pit. to the car in front is 2.8 seconds. Giovinazzi is ahead of you. Okay, gap ahead is 2.8 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are five laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 52.0. 1.2 seconds advantage per lap. Nope, fuck that. Will I show you how easy some cars spin on these tracks?
Callum is in the pits. Callum in the pits. We're leading our teammate by 9.2 seconds. Nice work, that brings you up a place. Now let's go for that P1. I think they're literally just generally about to pit though because there's five laps you of know, fuel remaining. They still need a pit. Oh what did I say? They go to pit and yeah they pitted. Which I guess is good but not good because I ain't racing no one. the fucking car. Ready. Green flag. He probably has ERS over everything though. Oopsie. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Nope, I'm not taking that then either. I'm trying to experiment on how to take him out. Hang on.
No, I want to take him out. Okay, some information on Bottas. They are out of the race. See, that's how you do it without getting a warning. Okay, clear. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. Sake. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Who's this bastard think he is? My car's ultimately better though. Mind that front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. No tight concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. Right, let's get this race win. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Cool. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Also, during, uh, oh no, I can't announce this. Well, I could, but then it's just gonna, it's gonna take like ages till people find out I've updated it. Well, I had a little bit too much power. Teammate status. Repeat that. There's interference. Or oh, you're just deaf. Gap to teammate behind is 18.3 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're in 11th. The time last lap was a 154.5. Anyway, although it might be this might be in the past, I am uploading changing my YT um, my YouTube profile picture, profile photo. Don't know what to say about it. I don't know what to say. 
It's just fucks with my mind, it does. It just, uh, I've had enough of it. I've had it for so long. Race control aren't happy. <laughs> Anyone want to go again? Yeah, I'm also changing it. Today, that's four race wins in a row. Since the one I've got currently, I just got bored of. There's a few disappointed faces up and down the pit wall after that one, but not here. They secured a phenomenal victory. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Taking care of the car was absolutely vital today. It's been obvious all weekend that the pace was there, but look at the attrition rate we've had. They would have been very concerned about any minor anomaly towards the latter stages of this Grand Prix. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. Joker increases their championship lead. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to say Sebastian Vettel certainly caught my eye during today's race. Incredible driving. It's time to see how things are shaping up. So that's the race that I this race, but I'm trying to do some modifications to our car because it'd be nicer. Instead of just looking at the same piece of shit no more. Well, we're keeping the Amazing black one. Right? We there. might go white mode I'm next, sure you're next pretty season. Happy with that. It's looking like the championship is already won. Do you think there's still time for this to change? You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struck? Do you have any comments about the collisions? Great. Well, that's everything. There we go. Come on, I lot. So yes. Now to go through this video on Share Factory guys and then edit in all the restarts. team's income is looking very robust right now. It's time for you to have a think about our profit margin and what areas of the operation might benefit from that money. How do you want us to deal with this one? You handled that well. Thank you. So guys, I shall have a doubt to you. So we're just going to add some resource stuff to it. We're going to replace that as well, but... How much is this fucking contract? Two mil, fuck off. And when does it end? Okay, it expires then, alright. Guys, um, I'll see you next time, and I'll... See you.